I don't know about you, but I am not one that is about to spend money to use a budgeting app. It just, I don't, I just don't like that. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five free budgeting apps that I actually really enjoy. I've tried them out. So if you guys are interested to see what this video is about and what apps I will be sharing, then keep on watching. The first budgeting app that is free to use is called Fudget. It's an app that looks like this. And side note, all of the apps that I am currently using are for an iOS device. Don't know if they're available for Android, so I apologize for my Android users. But the first app is called Fudget. One thing I was so impressed about this app is the simplicity of it. It is really for beginners. It's for anyone that just wants to get a handle on their finances and have everything managed into one app. I have this currently set up with our bank accounts. Now, if you are a cash envelope user, you have different categories. You can totally put in the different budgeted categories on here and you can track your transactions just as if you were using your envelope. That's one thing, but I love that you can just look at this one place and you can see all of the totals in your bank account. So I was super impressed. There are options to like upgrade and like pay money for things, but I, like I said, I'm not about that. So I'm only using the free version. So that is an option for you. And then the second app that is free to use, it's called Wallet App. And it's an app that looks like this. This one is probably one that I was just shocked at the capabilities of this app and being free, it just blew me away. What's nice is that if you are a cash user, you can use this app. If you are a cashless user, you can use this app. I'm just here for that. You can enter in your different bank accounts right up at the top, so I'll show you how it looks like. And you can see your transactions, so you can enter in all of your transactions for your account. You can plan out your payments, you can plan out your budgets, you can schedule future payments and everything. And it's just so nice to have everything all in one place. You can also look at your statistics and it can tell you like where you're spending and it's just a really, really nice app. And again, it is free, so I'm here for all of the budgeting free tools available to us. Now, the third app that I'm going to mention, it's one that is super popular. I have never used this app personally, but for this video, I wanted to try it out myself and see what is the hype about. And this is also a free app. It is called Mint. So I'm sure like 99% of you know the app Mint and you know that it can like connect all of your accounts. You can also, I think, connect any investments accounts. You can add your credit score if you want to like monitor that. But this is a free app to use and you can plan out your budgets for upcoming months and everything. It is just such a great place to have everything all in one as well and you can pay your bills on here i believe i think that that is what is one of the perks of it so you can add transactions and add all of your accounts it's just a great place to see everything all in one go right now the fourth app that i'm going to mention is one that i have been using for years <laughs> and i have to include these last two because they are honestly it is what has helped me in my budgeting journey and really gain a better control over our finances and the app that i'm going to mention i've had done so many tutorials about it so you can go ahead and look at that. I'm not gonna show a screenshot because you gotta check out those videos. But it is called Balance My Checkbook. And here is a free app. Um, you do have the option to like upgrade to add multiple accounts. But I just keep this for our main account, which is what I call our operating household operating account. And what's nice about this app is that you can literally check off once a transaction clears your account. So it's more of a manual type of budgeting app, 
but it's nice because you can see what is your true available balance. So you never want to look at the balance that's in your checking account and think you just have that available to spend. No, 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 that is not the case. You have to look at what is your available balance, meaning you've already allocated specific dollar amounts for a particular bill, you have a subscription that's coming out of your bank account on X day, and you can't spend that money because it's already technically been spent already. Did I say that right? I mean, I hope you get the picture. I love using a checkbook register app. It is just the most basic, and I'm all about simplicity, but is the most basic way to get a handle and control over your finances. You can use the Balance My Checkbook app. And now the last budgeting app that is pretty much like the start of everything. And this is the Every Dollar app. And it looks like this. And this is available everywhere. You can use it on your iPad. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your desktop. You can make changes and then somebody else that's in your household can have access to the same login. And you can see everything that is going on between you all. So if you make a change to the budget, everyone knows and everyone is on the same page. This app is free. There are paid options, as I mentioned, but I love the free usage of this. And um, I'm currently on a on the Pro, which is the paid for version, but I was gifted it. I had always been using the free and I actually prefer the free because I and one where I have to enter in something for it to really register. If any of you are the same way, let me know in the comments. But what's nice about this is that you can create your plan for the month. And this is not necessarily like a tracking app per, per se. You should still maybe have something else for your different categories, but this allows you to like break down your savings, this allows you to break down all of your expenses and to know where, you know, for you to be at a zero based budget because that is truly where you should be. That is pretty much it for the apps that I tried out. Again, we're just gonna recap. So it is the Fudget app, the Wallet app, Mint, Balance My Checkbook, and the Every Dollar app. And these are five free budgeting apps that are actually helpful and beneficial that I have used personally and I do see that it is simple to use all of them um, so they're great for beginner budgeters they're great for those that are wanting to track their cash spending it's wonderful for those that are cashless budgeters and it is just amazing if there are any other apps that are free to budget with then definitely let me know I know a lot of you have used YNAB, which stands for you need a budget, but YNAB is a paid app. It's a paid budgeting app. So if you're all for, you know, paying monthly for a budgeting system, then by all means do that. But I personally do not want to pay for a budgeting system because I could just grab a pen and paper and do it for free. So that is everything for today's video. Just know that a budget, it doesn't have to be complicated. It just needs to make sense to you and to your family. If you're wanting any budgeting worksheets, just know I do have a Etsy shop with different budgeting worksheets. I use them all the time on my channel. So definitely check the link and everything that I shared is in the description box down below. So that's all for today and I will see you guys right here in a brand new video. Bye guys.